I imagine the reasons that people cling to their hate so stubbornly is because they sense that once hate is gone, they will be forced to deal with their own pain because we can't bear to the, the, the reality of change and insecurity that's also part of being human. I want to underscore that becoming nobody doesn't mean that you lose your voice. In fact, you, it's about discovering your real voice. It's about discovering, you know, they say, each soul has its own song, and your job is to listen for it, and then to sing it. You know, Buddha said you could search the whole universe and never find anyone more worthy of love and caring than yourself. Our whole culture looks for everything outside, right? Our whole culture craves pleasure and avoids pain. And we are initiated in that culture at birth. And so the fact that any of us are kind of getting the idea that there might be another way to go through this weird thing called life is phenomenal. Everybody's working to become somebody and brand ourselves and get on social media and be somebody that everybody can recognize. And yet the opposite, becoming nobody, it doesn't mean erasing or annihilating who we are. Anything that happens is going to produce a reaction. If I'm identifying myself with the action, then I have, by virtue of that identification, I will be identifying myself with the reaction. So it is very much a desirable thing to do to be able to limit your identification with the actions that you perform. It's like conducting a symphony of love.